All right, the last thing we need to do is look at a homework template file that's specifically for Math 446 at Purdue Calumet. This is provided by the professor, and it has the fonts, margins, and all the other formatting, including something special, environments that he needs to make comments and send your homework back to you. Now, this is in the info for this video at the upper right of this video. And you go to the Mediafire website here, and you'll see math forty math four four six hw template dot licks dot zip. We're going to download that file. All right, now this is a zip file, and I apologize for this part. The Mediafire website did not want to take a dot licks file. Okay, so what you need to do is open that file. and extract it, drag and drop, however you want, wherever you like. I'm doing it to the desktop. And then open that file within Lix. So now we're going to go into Lix, go to File Open, and to wherever you extracted that file. Like I said, I went to the desktop. And it's math 446 HW template. Open it up, put in your name. And this is this is just like we're starting a new homework here. Say we're doing homework eight, put in your name, the date that it's due. Now you'd save it as so that you're not working on the template and you're leaving the template alone now. Save it as say Homework 8. Save it. Now you know you're working on homework 8. And do all your problems. So just to show you an example, I'm going to copy some from another homework that we did. Okay, you're all saved up. Hit save. Okay. Now, because we use that template, you're going to see that everything gets double spaced, and you're going to be able to tell that when we look at the PDF print preview here. Okay, so you see here, everything is double spaced. That's nice. That's the way we need it for our class. Now, the way that you submit this homework to the professor it does not use licks. So, we will need to send it to him in a different format. We will go to File, Export, Latex Plain. Okay, hit Latex Plain, and there will not be a dialog to tell you where it's saved. It's saved in the same folder as wherever the .lix file is saved. So there we have it. I did it on the desktop, hw8.txt, and I'm going to send this to, to the professor by attaching it to an email. So that's it. That's basically everything. Now, just for a last bit in Lix, if you want to see what the text file looks like, like if we if we open up the text file right now in a text editor, for example, if I drag this into a text editor, you could see all of the work that we did. So this is all the work that we just did. Okay. So you see all these commands and everything. This is quite ugly. You would not want to work on something like this. But this is what you're going to send the professor and what he'll open. And he'll look at something in PDF just like we did. But if you want to see all of that stuff while you're working on your homework in Lix, you can go to View and View Source. Now at the bottom of the screen, you will see, if you go to Complete Source, you can see the entire thing. Otherwise, you'll just look at the current line. If you go to complete source, you can see what's actually in your .txt file. So all the different commands and things will be right here in the source. But normally, I mean, this is not necessary. But like I said, you have your .txt file that you exported, your plain latex file. That is the file that you will send to the professor by attachment, and he will also send you a .txt file in return. When you get that, that 
you will import that as latex plain, the same way that we did for the... Well, I don't think we imported a plain latex file in this tutorial, but you will Im import whatever he sends you as latex plain. All right, I know we've been through a lot. We've covered a lot of information here, guys, but believe me, I personally like using this program a lot better than using Word in the Equation Editor, even though this will take about half an hour out of your day to learn how to use this program and everything. But thank you so much for listening, and this concludes the video tutorial. Um, if you want to watch any of my other videos or leave comments or rate, feel free to. I'll see you guys in class.